you do it like this, you can do like a domino effect. Yeah, there we go. There we go, one shot. See my judgment there? You guys seeing that? One shot. Bang Bang Pew Pew was once a Kickstarter, it got funded, and here it is, gonna go live on Steam. More games than ever, over 24 different games with four different styles of gameplay from accuracy, speed, and more puzzle-like games. On your PC, uh, you could run it in many different options with a Re Remote, with a Sindin light gun, with the Aim Track light gun, many, many options for you. Let's go ahead and show you this game, show you some of the game modes, play it, and uh, you know maybe you consider checking it out in the links below. So here it is on Steam. You can see the Steam play. There's some videos there. I've made a bunch of videos on this as well. You can go check them out, but it's ready to go uh, in April. And uh, you just install it's about, it's a little under three gigabytes and uh, you can check the system requirements, but uh, you know, my computer ran it no problem whatsoever. And it's gotten light years better from the beta build or alpha build that I tried prior. This thing is pretty polished today. Oh, I didn't see that one. Oh, oh. Score 50, score 400 points, oh, and 45 shots. Hit four shots without missing. I could do this. Last area. So this one you just gotta hit full score. You want to like look for the center of gravity here, like like that, like that, right? See that one was not good. Come on, get off there. Two shots. A little extra two, little boost there. I think this one, if you do it like this, you can do like a domino effect. Yeah, there we go. There we go, one shot. See my judgment there? You guys seeing that? One shot. I should get extra points for that. And then. All right, we did judgment, now let's do accuracy. So this one's interesting because you get a, um, you get a um, snipe with button two on my thing. So you see there? Oh wow, there's like a um, a slight delay because you're shooting so far away. That's really interesting. Like the trajectory of the bullet is. Pooh. Pooh. Pool. 
Okay, so here it is, bang, bang, pew, pew. So hot seat's pretty cool because it allows you to play two player. Uh, you can like switch off the guns or have multiple guns hooked up. There's like many things you can play around with. Um, when you get into single player, you have random challenge and arcade mode, which are kind of like just get me into something and let's play. And then you have selector challenge where you can be a little more nitpicky and see the game. Currently, as of release, there's 25 different challenges. There's more DLCs coming, so this will game will get updated with more games as you move on. My, one of my favorites is Take the Town, as well as Protect the Runner, because it adds an extra element into the game versus just kind of accuracy and uh, messing around. Same with Getaway. You get to drive this little car and shoot at the same time. You even do have curling. A lot of people were excited about that. So these are all scenario-based games where you have to like do things and, and move around. Then you have your speed-based games where you gotta you know be firing really fast and you know a combination of speed and accuracy. Um, you have th games like this, games like this, kick the can or shoot the can. You have you know these little spinning um, pieces of metal. You have like this is like from Nintendo Wii where you know these will come out and you have to hit the right colors. And then you have like randomly produced targets and at a shooting range. And then this one's kind of cool. It's like bowling balls or, or like really hard balls that you have to like shoot up the up the ramp instead of getting them to fall. So those are your speed games. And you get into judgment games. You got this game I'll play later, clear the platform. You got card matching. So it's like, a you know, you have to actually use some like solitaire skills at the same time, you know, or matching skills. Then you have color call where you have to do color coordination from what it calls for. Shoot the imposter, right? One has a knife. One does not have a knife. You need to make sure you shoot the right person, not the innocent. You know, kind of like your um, Hogan this Alley type of thing. Then you got poker, another card game. You got Ready Set Go, uh, where it's like a speed dial, and you gotta, you know, be ready. And then that's what you got for judgments. And then lastly, you have accuracy, and these are gonna be your ones where you know your, your shotgun skeet practice, your duck hunt type style game. You got your sniping game, and when I played this game, I was pleasantly surprised that as you snipe in, the farther the target is, the more lag on the bullet. So it actually is programmed to have a slight delay for a bullet that needs to travel, you know, 50 yards, 100 yards, etc. And uh, you got the pendulum plates you got to shoot without shooting the gas cans. And then uh, what else did you have? Oh, just three. And uh, do know that some of these games are going to be locked when you first get it. There might be like an unlock mode, like a cheat code to get them all, um, as well as they're fairly easy to earn yourself. So that's it. As far as options, I am able to run this at 1440p. My monitor is a 1440p at my higher refresh rate and actually works really well. I was running on ultra high quality, but my, mind you, my computer's really um, fairly powerful. And you can absolutely turn the crosshair off. I did not turn it off because I'm a noob, but you can actually turn it off, especially with the Sin and Light gun. You can get a lot of performance out of this thing. So it's pretty cool. So there you have it. Final thoughts are it's so cool to see a light gun game for the PC, you know, with a developer who's really excited about it and like light gun games themselves. There's excellent variety in here. And the fact that they're going to be updating the game throughout, you know, the next year or two at the minimum is amazing. You know, with the Sin and light gun, you know, the light guns are getting better. You can use a Wii remote. You have a lot of options out there. So if this is something you're interested in, uh, there is a coupon code in the link below uh, on the release day. But uh, I could tell you it's worth checking out. Even if you're just going to use your mouse, it might be worth checking out. It's, it's kind of fun to play with your mouse. But that's what I think. Let me know y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.